So today I have a, a test uh, Dell 5030, uh, 3050, 3050, not 3050. Okay. Uh, I open the tray and then uh, uh, replace the thermal plastic. I'm using this one. Okay. Remove the heat thing. Remove the heat thing. I have a cell modifier, the power supply. It is because I don't have the original Dell power supply. I'm using uh, OEM and other company provider power supply. What is the power supply? Power supply unit. That's why power supply you this 24 volt and 24 voltage and 10 amp. Here's the power supply 24 voltage 10 amp. Okay, uh, should be enough to provide the power supply, but actually. This power supply, when using a uh, long original power supply, the Dell 3050 cannot be provide the maximum power of the of the uh, of this machine. I need to turn some software. Okay, I double. Let take a look. Clean the old thermal pad and then take a look at the CPU. Here, the CPU. And here's the CPU with the heat sink of the SMC chips. Okay, I need to add some. Add some. Uh, Thermal pad for this one. Okay, using here, here. Thermal pad here. Okay, should be enough. And then the CPU. A little bit more. And then supply the CPU. CPU is saying and confirm is working. That's very good. This is because the power, uh, the thermal, uh, thermal pad is uh, cover all, all top of the CPU. You can use the additional heat sink for the SMC. Yeah. SMC. And put the well, uh, heat sink. Heatsink mounting. Heatsink mounting. Okay. Cover the heatsink. Good drive right here. Are we wow, right? The power supply cable here. It is bigger because the original power supply I don't have. I just have uh, additional power supply, so I make a while. 
inside the motherboard for the lighting on 5 voltage supply okay that, that is the supply there now uh, screw up tightly the screw for the heat sink Also, you uh, add a heat sink for the SSD. 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 Okay, now it's complete. Mount into the mount the fans, CPU fans on it. Mount the CPU fans. up very good very good he's saying and then the thermal pad okay uh, the adapter mountain okay last ready uh, I have a uh, power cable outside the connector a power meter level cable Using uh, HDMI, uh, power supply already connected, uh, and then power up now. After power up, wow, here's the display. I'm also uh, using a wireless mouse. This is the tricky thing. When you are using a uh, external uh, long original power supply using a manufacturing OEM uh, connect to it, you need to it will be downgrade the power, downgrade the CPU power. It will be only have the 800 megabyte, 800 megabyte speed, mega her speed, my megabyte, not megabyte, not. Make her speed. Okay, I show you now how to let it uh, boost the performance. Okay, after install uh, Windows 11 Pro. Okay, the mouse here, the mouse something. Okay, uh, after that, turn the performance. Is the performance? It will be only point zero point seven nine gigahertz. Not come with the the top speed of the two point five gigahertz. So what happened? What did you do? I need to run another program. This is another program to turn it to the normal speed of the CPU. Okay. After that running, the programs after running. Okay, the performance speed will be increased. Now, increased. Increase to the maximum. What's the program? This program is the Tofi Stop here. It can, uh, can be push the CPU speed to the normal. Maximum is the 28 power. Now, the CPU performance is improved. That's the modify for you without the original power supply. Okay, how is the MFI? MFI is a low uh, point for 19.5, 19 19.6, 0.40, 0.5, 0.4, 1.5, one MFI, M for this machine. Okay, this is the, my modify. And then now last make the cover. Here's the final cover. 
go for that. Oh, my mouse uh, USB light is inside here. Need to unplug. Okay, everything was working fine. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.